Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on PCLN, NVDA, Netflix, Tesla, CMG, daily weekly time frame. So PCLN followed through with the upper wick of profit taking from yesterday and pulled back to a lower high and lower low. Anything above 1908 will keep the bulls in full control with a higher low pattern on the daily. So it's still healthy consolidation at this point, but we did not see the kind of dip buying that we saw in most other names. That being said, we did not see the kind of weakness first thing this morning that we saw in other names as well. So a little bit more of a stagnant day for PCLN with a lot more volatility on other names. Weekly time frame is a bearish candlestick after a bull break. So we are cautious for consolidation, but until we lose the daily higher low pattern, the bulls are just fine. You can see we are leveling out a little bit. The exponential moving averages leveling out. The MACD starting to see a little bit of a downward curl. So keeping a potential eye out for a move back to 1900, but not making any bearish, uh, any bearish positions really until we see that break of 1908. NVDA, bulls bought the dip in a huge way. Any dip, the bulls love this sector. And we saw it in MU and NVDA today. Close at the high, right near the all-time highs. 198.90 and every dip that you see that has a five minute rsi in the t in the single digits today but if the if the hourly rsi is in the 20 and the five minute rsi is in single digits in this year 2017 it means buy semiconductors so the bulls up at the highs very strong close and we'll see if we get that all-time high tomorrow with the follow-through weekly chart favoring the bulls trying to remain in breakout mode 195.88 is that level to close above to stay in breakout mode so far so good for the bulls Netflix on the daily, bulls buying the dip, closing at the high of the day. We did lose the higher low pattern on the daily, 192.10. So that has me shift my mindset. If we had a higher low compared to that level, I'd potentially be looking for a new all-time high with this higher high. But because we broke that higher low, I'm looking for a lower high on this bounce. I'm looking for a bounce up towards 200 and then a pullback because we have shifted this momentum to a degree. The weekly time frame is also bearish in the short term, indicating some consolidation could be coming due to the upper the upper Bollinger Band rejecting the price and two bearish reversal candlesticks in a row. It's also a potential volume climax where this is going to be the highest week of volume that we've seen in months. Tesla on the daily, bull still maintaining higher lows, but we didn't see much bounce in Tesla where we have the low here, 347.16, higher low at 348.20, and the bulls need follow through. 357.15 and 363 are the next two resistances. 360 is also a resistance to be watching as that has been a, a key level in the past. But a disappointing day in terms of lack of follow-through for the bulls. Certainly the market weakness is attributing that, or we can attribute that to the market weakness, but it's the higher low that must hold. And if we lose this pattern, we can be looking for bearish entry on Tesla. And obviously we want to have the market going in the same direction as any individual trades to make things easy to be going with that correlation. So if we were making a bearish entry on Tesla, we would have to watch to see if SPY is going to continue running to all-time highs because obviously we wouldn't be anticipating significant downside gains for any bears in Tesla if the market overall is seeing all-time highs. So the weekly here, an upper wick of profit taking, still holding on just barely. It has to be a loss of those higher lows on the daily before considering anything bearish, in my opinion. CMG, again, right back to following through with a recovery, big-time recovery for these bulls. New support is 315.52. Resistance is 326, 329 71, and 331 99. So we have a, a, a ways to go before earnings, not many days. It's next week. And the bulls are definitely hopeful that we can see this oversold weekly bounce get some catalyst from these earnings. It's just as easy that we can be sub 300 again, though, however, if it is a bearish reaction. So that's a gamble. That's the reason that I don't play earnings because I have no idea what the fundamentals are going to be in terms of expectations and outlook and guidance on CMG. But I will be playing the reaction to earnings, that's for sure. And right now, we'll see if we can get a bull move back into the 330s in the few days that we do have left as the bulls look to position themselves. So I appreciate you watching. We're going to check back in over the weekend, watching to see if the tech sector can follow through from the buying of the dip that we saw today. And I hope you have a good night. We'll see you soon.